the contrast between this and um, Op Bridge, which we did last September for Her Late Majesty, is the difference in the atmosphere. You know, that was solemn. Everyone was hugely honoured to feel that they were part of it. But this is a joyous occasion. It, it feels like a party. And what's been really amazing today is meeting the contingents from 38 Commonwealth nations who have come from as far away as, as Togo or Tonga or New Zealand, um, some of them taking days to get here. And they all feel the same sense of excitement uh, and pride that they're going to be part of something, part of history. I mean, they tell me that they've been amazingly well looked after. I don't know how well they've been paid by 27 Regiment RLC, we'll just call to say that. Uh, but everything I've seen sort of points to an incredibly professional operation. And that's, that's what they do. You know, they were, you know, this is a regiment that just a few weeks ago was in Poland, was right at the heart of the effort, delivering our equipment to the Ukrainians and making sure that that was getting through. Uh, and now here they are and they turn their hand to this and they do it incredibly well. I was very honoured when Her Majesty asked me to carry uh, her scepter in the procession uh, in Westminster Abbey. And that's on the basis of the very close connection she has with my former regiment, the Rifles. And she was the Royal Colonel of the battalion when I was the commanding officer. And she was simply amazing. But the Royal Family, I think more than any other family, recognise and understand what it means to serve. You know, the, the, His Majesty is the son of, of a father and mother who served. Um, he served himself in two of the services, gained his parachute wings uh, as Colonel-in-Chief of the Parachute Regiment. And of course he's the father of two sons who served and felt the same acute anxiety that any parent does feel when, uh, when their son or daughter is deployed. So they understand what it means to be part of the military. And it's the bond of service, of dedication and sacrifice that brings the armed forces uh, and the royal family together. And I know that they are immensely proud of those connections and they're very often the engagements that they feel the most strongly about and we're deeply honoured to have such a close affiliation with them.